Once the program has been installed, the main window of the program will appear. Here is a search field with some initial search words, banner and raw. The program has fetched foods that fit given search words. Suitable foods are listed in the table below. Let's note one thing for starters, the word raw here means fresh. The program has a version of different foods, for example, for boiled or cooked food. If you are looking for fresh, then use keyword raw. Let's try then to search, say, and cooked potato. Using the keyword potato finds many choices, so let's use also raw as an additional keyword. Now suitable option for uncooked potato has been found. Notice how the nutrition table lists a variety of information and nutrients found in the selected food. First, there is a short description of the food, and below are the various nutrients listed. Nutrients are identified in 100 gram portions. For example, if eaten and cooked potatoes gives about 80 grams of water per 100 grams of potato. Likewise, potato has 77 calories per 100 grams and about 17 grams of carbohydrates. Please also note that some of the, the nutrients have daily requirement next to the value. For example, the daily need for protein is 50 grams and thus 100 grams of raw potatoes gives you about 2 grams of proteins. When the table of nutrient is clicked, for example, on protein, the adjacent info window displays information about this nutrient. The information window usually shows a web link for more information. These info texts can be edited, so you can write more or edit existing text. The program automatically saves the changes. The food material, here potato, has also an info window. Usually they are initially empty, but can be edited and modified as needed. Let's try yet again with bananas. Give the search for banner ra. Notice how the selections in the table below become more precise as you enter more of the keyword. The selections at the top correspond more with the keywords. The selection at the bottom may perhaps correspond to only one keyword and some keywords multiple times. Let's click the bananas raw in the table and take a closer look at its nutrient table. If you want to find some specific nutrient, right-click the table, a menu comes up. Select Find and press OK. Enter, for example, vitamin C and click OK. If a suitable nutrient can be found, the program goes to it. Note how many different nutrients there are. Some don't have values and some have no data. No data means that the value has not been established. For clarity, the table can also be sorted. Right-click on the table, a menu comes up. Select Now, Sort Table, Option, and press OK. This table shows the various nutrients sorted so that nutrients that correspond best to daily requirements show higher up. For example, bananas contain a good amount of vitamin B6, vitamin C, and manganese. By clicking on the appropriate nutrient, you can see how they're useful. Please note that the meaning of daily requirement varies. For some nutrients the case is not so much of the daily need, but instead the maximum recommended amount, for example, sodium or salt, has maximum daily recommended amount set as 2300 mg. Other nutrients have also maximum daily recommended value, for example cholesterol and fats. The info box informs you of these things. Please note that the sort order applies to the current selected food. If we click for example, radishes raw, the table won't sort automatically for that. You can of course sort it again. For example, radishes have a higher content in fiber than bananas. The search results table has a button labeled popular items. 
When it is clicked a table of previously selected foods comes visible. Initially it has some usual foods just for example. The normal preferred routine with using new tea is finding the right foods using search tools. Then the found suitable foods are added to popular items. The popular items table then has a shorter list of foods to work with. Let's see how all this works. This list does not have, for example, sweet pepper. Let's enter pepper, sweet. OK, it is found. Now let's right click it. A menu comes up, select, add to popular items, and click OK. Now look again at popular items, it has now sweet pepper. You can also delete foods from the table by clicking the right mouse button. Next, we shall examine how to create a recipe. We'll do this by creating a healthy breakfast. For this, select foods from the favorites table, select milk, and click on the add to list or recipe. A new table is created. This table has its own info window, which can be edited as well. Then add bananas and carrots to the recipe table. Please note that the program uses the basic amount, which, in this case is 100 grams. You can change it in the table. Click on the appropriate section and enter in grams how much you plan to consume selected food. For example a glass of milk is 2 deciliters or about 200 grams. Enter data in the table. Pressing enter lets you enter data and pressing enter again confirms the data. Please note that the nutrition table reflects the recipe of foods for given quantities, for example, 2 deciliters of milk and 100 grams of bananas and 100 grams carrots total nearly 17 micrograms, or more than one quarter of the daily vitamin C requirements. You can try changing gram totals and see if the daily requirements can be realized. Keep in mind that a number of meals are eaten during the day and remaining nutrient needs can later be calculated using other meal options. You can also use sorting to help determine what nutrients still lack from total. After some testing, it is found that this recipe contains about a quarter of the daily need of the majority of nutrients. This recipe is sufficient as one of the four meals of the day. On the other hand, vitamin A has already been exceeded. Usually exceeding vitamin daily take is okay, but from the info window, we find out that excess vitamin A can cause, for example, drowsiness. Let's see what causes high vitamin A in our recipe. Click the milk in favorites menu. It contains about 60 mg of vitamin A and bananas only 3. Note how the nutrient table reflects selected food of the favorites table when it is active. If the recipe table is activated, the nutrient table reflects total of the recipe. Lastly, if we click carrots we see that it has a high content of vitamin A. When the amount of carrots is reduced for example to 10 grams. This morning breakfast example has about a quarter of the vitamins on the other hand. While vitamin A has decreased, other values have also decreased. Carrots contain other beneficial nutrients, for example, potassium. How, then, would we balance foods in this recipe to get the efficient combination? We could of course try other foods and test by hand. But there is a better way using new tea calculation tools. Choose drop-down menu, a recipe calculations, and then, list where recipe is best, and click the OK button. A new window comes up. Here we can ask the program to automatically calculate the most healthy combination of foods, using the selected foods. The current recipe contains 310 grams of food. This table here tells what it amount in nutrients. For example, if we ate only 266 grams of this recipe, calcium daily needs would be met. On the other hand, for example, to meet daily requirement for vitamin C, we would need about 1.5 kilograms of this recipe. 
Now we want to find out whether a different combination would be better. Let's say that this recipe is just for breakfast and we will eat more later in the day. So this recipe should attempt to fill only a quarter of daily requirements. We can tell this to the program. Select Setup and then Setup Options. A new window comes up. Here we can multiply daily requirement by a quarter. A quarter is already there so just click OK. Now the table daily requirement has been reduced as intended now. We find that this 310 gram recipe matches the need quite nicely for many nutrients. Next we shall tell the program what size of portions the program should systematically try. Put the weight allocation of 15 grams to step value and 15 iterations with these options. The program tests about 4,000 combinations. Foods are tested up to 225 grams each. Let's look at a couple of things before we continue. The nutrient table has many useful nutrients. But it has also those that are not required, for example, sodium and fats. Let's make the daily need to zero for salt in the table. This way the program does not emphasize sodium in any way when it tries to match daily needs. Now click Optimize. The program will now begin to systematically try in 15 gram portions of the recipe for various foods. First, it tries only 15 grams of milk and 0 grams of others. Then it increases the quantities and at all time calculates how this reflects on daily requirements. In this case, a quarter of it. The table here shows how the calculations progresses. We could have selected the calculate in smaller lots, for example, 1 gram parts and 500 iterations. That would amount to more than 10 million iterations and calculations would take, perhaps, days. Calculation can be stopped by clicking the cancel option. At long last the program has finished and suggests 195 grams of milk, 180 grams of bananas and 15 grams of carrots. With this configuration we get a better fill of daily required nutrients. The total amount of grams has also increased to 390 grams. You can return to the main screen by pressing the escape key or by closing the window. You can then enter values in the recipe table. Recipes can be saved and retrieved in a number of ways. That is explained in other help videos. You can also use the program to choose a food that contains any specific nutrient in high quantities. Select for example vitamin C and right click it. A menu comes up. Here you select view highest and lowest etc. and press OK. Now the program provides a table with vitamin C in terms of the best at the top. At the top are special foods enriched with vitamin C. Orange or kiwi is not even close, however, many of the foods at the top are also rare in many areas. For example, acerola is ranked highest among naturally occurring fruits in the world. It is, however, not ready available in most countries. You can limit what is shown in the table. If you clicked fruits and fruit juices on the right selection table, the table on the left will now show a perhaps more familiar list. It shows that the kiwi is even slightly better in vitamin C than the, the edible part of orange. However, and peeled orange contains more vitamin C. You can click and select together or separately other options and test other choices. If you want to add some of your favorite products to the popular items table right click it. You should use this table and thus discover healthier and useful food options. The program has close to 10,000 food titles, nutritional values of which have been compiled from various sources. You can also add and edit this data, for example, if you create a recipe yourself. 
a bread, for example, it can be added to the main list or, or popular items table for later selection. Many store purchased foods also have the most important nutritional values listed in the package and can be easily added to the program. See other help videos on how to accomplish this.